Kia ora, my name is Nigel McNee and I'm the lead developer of the Mahara ePortfolio system. Today I want to demo for you the exciting work we've been doing over the last few months on import-export. This is the ability for users to export and take with them a copy of their portfolio data. Later, on another system, it doesn't even have to be a Mahara, they can import their data again. This is key functionality because an ePortfolio should travel with a person throughout their lifelong learning journey. For the upcoming 1.2 release, learners will be able to use Mahara safe in the knowledge that they can take their portfolios with them when they leave their current place of learning. I'm recording this demo against the latest development copy of Mahara, which means the theme looks a little simplistic, but don't worry too much about that because the default theme for the previous versions will still be present when Mahara 1.2 is released, and in fact we'll be including a few more themes to make it even easier for you to customise Mahara out of the box. So firstly, here is a user account I created beforehand. As you can see, I've filled out all this guy's profile fields. I've also created some views, uploaded some files, and created a blog which I'll just quickly click through here. Later on, we'll import this data into Mahara again and it will all appear in exactly the same way. Now, let's demo export. Like many other places in Mahara, the export system is pluggable, meaning that developers can write exporters for any format they choose. For the 1.2 release, we're shipping with two formats out of the box, a standalone HTML website and the new Leap2A standard. The HTML website format is designed for learners who want to grab a copy of their portfolio data in an easily viewable form. As its name suggests, this generates a miniature website that can be viewed in any standard web browser. This is great because you're able to quickly review and show your portfolio when you don't have access to your ePortfolio system, although it's not possible to import this format into another system in future. The Leap to a format, on the other hand, is not so easy for humans to read, but Mahara and several other ePortfolio systems understand it very well. When you leave the system, grabbing a Leap 2A export of your data ensures that you'll be able to import your data back into another ePortfolio system in the future. The other thing you can do on this page is choose whether to export all of your data or just some of your views and their associated data. So here for example we could choose a few views, but for now I'm just going to export all of my data. Once you click Generate, you get this nifty screen which shows you the progress and then it's done and ready to be downloaded. I'll cancel the download now as I already downloaded one previously. Here it is with all of my information. One cool thing about this is that if you choose just one view to export, the resulting download will contain the view with no home page in front of it. This is quite handy if you need to quickly make a copy of a particular view to take with you or submit as an assignment. By the way, one other piece of work we're doing in Mahara 1.2 is to allow you to submit Mahara views as Moodle assignment answers from within Moodle itself. The Moodle site will be available as a plugin for Moodle 1.9. Back in Mahara, let's have a look at the Leap 2A support. I'll just generate an export of that now. The Leap 2A standard is a relatively new one. It was developed with the input of several ePortfolio systems, which means the exports are quite portable. I'll save that to disk now, and then let's try and import that export that I just generated. Here it is. This next screen will look mighty ugly, but it does the job. And now we've changed to this new user that has been created with the export data. As you can see, all of their information has remained intact, with the exception of views which we're still working on, but they'll work by the time the 1.2 release is out. So here the files have been imported again, and my blog has also been imported again there's another blog created which contains data that wasn't understood by any other part of Mahara, which is a good feature of Leap2A, as it means that even if you import data into another system which doesn't understand how Mahara's data works, you can still keep it with you. And this brings us to the end of the demonstration. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in finding out more, 
check out the Mahara wiki which has loads of information about import-export. You may also want to subscribe to our Twitter feed which is called Mahara underscore project to keep up to date with the latest developments. It's low traffic and it's a good way to find out what's going on. Thanks again and until next time, kia ora.